Hi there! Well, today I am very excited to be bringing you a review of the Michael Todd True Organics Sonic Clear Antimicrobial Sonic Cleansing System. In the interest of full disclosure, I do want to say right up front that I was contacted by a representative of Michael Todd. They asked me if I would be interested in reviewing this antimicrobial sonic cleansing system. And having used a Clarisonic product off and on for the last few years, I was very interested to see how these two products would compare. I've been using a Clarisonic Mia, as I mentioned, off and on for a few years, and this has definitely seen better days. I had just made the commitment to myself that I was going to step up my skincare routine in 2015. So I pulled this back out and about that time I was contacted by Michael Todd Organics and so it really could not have come at a better time. So, so as I'm you can tell this is not going to be a true apples to apples comparison because my Clarisonic is the much smaller compact Mia version. Very straightforward, doesn't have a lot of options and the Sonoclear system has quite a few options, different brush heads. I'm going to go over all of that with you and talk to you about why I've been enjoying this so much. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's start by talking about some of the basics. This is how my Sonoclear cleansing system arrived to me. It was housed securely in this box, so I wasn't concerned about any damage during shipment. And I'm also going to talk to you about everything that was included in this kit. So of course, first of all, you've got your brush handle. It also comes with one facial brush, one body brush, then you've got your charging cradle, and of course the cord that attaches to the charging cradle. There are also other accessories that are available on the Michael Todd site. I know that there was a brush handle extension, so if you wanted to use that with the body brush to get to some of those hard to reach places, that was available. There's also some different cleansers and things, so you do have some options if you're interested in enhancing the current kit. Having used the Clarisonic Mia for the last few years and not having the option of even the body brush, I was really excited with what came in the kit already. So I had a lot of fun just trying these things out as is. The unique and what I believe to be the standout feature of the Michael Todd Sonic Clear brush heads is these are actually treated during the manufacturing process with an antimicrobial protectant. What this means is that during the normal lifespan of your brush heads, they will resist stains and odor causing bacteria. This protection is also not going to wash off or wear off during normal use. I've actually become a lot more aware of my exposure to bacteria in my day to day life, and it had never really occurred to me when I was using my Clarisonic that there could be a lot of bacteria building up on those brush heads. It does make perfect sense. We are using these brushes to cleanse a lot of that dirt and oil and makeup from our skin, and that bacteria does not get completely removed once we just rinse our brush heads with water. So the next important feature to mention is that the Sonoclear has six cleansing speeds. There's three facial cleansing speeds and three body cleansing speeds. The really neat thing about this is that the handle actually recognizes which brush head you're trying to use and then gives you three speed choices based on the head that's attached. So there's nothing more that you need to do other than just to attach the brush head that you're wanting to use, whether it's body or facial, and then you can click through on the button here and it's going to give you your three speed options. Those speeds are indicated by the lights here, which are all listed in your user guide. It's really easy to determine which brush speed you would like to use. The brush heads and handle are completely waterproof, so you can do your cleansing wherever you're most comfortable. I usually do my facial and body cleansing in the shower or bathtub, so I love that I can take this in with me and not have to worry about water damaging the system. Now that I've gone over some of the basics with you, let's talk about my first impressions. So the thing that caught my eye right away was the color. I am a big fan of purples and lavenders, so to me this was just about as perfect as it gets for me. If you are not a fan of purples and lavenders the way that I am, know that this is available in five other color options, so you're sure to find something that you love. The next thing that really stood out to me was these rubberized textured grips on either side of the handle. I cannot tell you how many times I have dropped my Clarisonic Mia in the shower, and that's pretty heartbreaking when you invest this kind of money in a sonic brush. The last thing that you want to do is drop it and break it. So I love that this feels very comfortable and secure in my hand, so I'm not worried about dropping it. Because I do use mine in the shower and the bathtub, my hands are going to be wet, so now I don't have to worry about that and it's been very secure since I've been using Besides it. Besides having the safety and comfort of knowing I'm not going to drop the brush, it also is surprisingly lightweight and very nicely constructed. It feels very sturdy, very substantial without being heavy. This is a nice lightweight brush that feels 
evenly distributed in weight. It's not too top heavy or bottom heavy, so it feels very comfortable in the hand. The next comparison I wanted to make was between the brush heads, specifically the facial brushes. So here on the left, we have the Sonic Clear brush head, and this is the Clarisonic. They do appear very similar. There are a couple of differences. One's much more significant than the other. The Sonic Clear brush head is considered good for all skin types, and the Clarisonic brush head that I have here is for sensitive skin. I actually cannot tell a difference in the feel of these. To me, the Sonicleer normal brush head feels the same to me as the Clarisonic Sensitive. I started off with my Mia with a normal brush head and it was a little bit irritating on my skin. The Sonicleer normal brush head feels like the Sensitive did to my skin. It's very soft, it's not irritating in any way. So to me, these are essentially the same brush head, even though they're not exactly the same. I do want to point out that although these are similar in size, they are not interchangeable. So if you have Clarisonic brush heads, these will not fit on the Sonicleer handle. I did try that because I had one of these in backup, but they just don't work that way. They're not interchangeable. The other thing that I noticed is that the bristles are a little bit longer on the Sonicleer brush head than they are on the Clarisonic. This actually works to my advantage because it allows me to access areas on my face more more easily that I wasn't able to with the Clarisonic, specifically right around my nose. So the Clarisonic brush head would sit pretty flat on this area, whereas with the Sonicleer, because of the longer brist bristles that are very flexible, it will go right down into that area and cleanse that thoroughly, also on my chin. So I really love that and it is something that I wanted to mention. Moving on to how I use the brush. I've been using this every day, once a day in the evenings. You could certainly use it twice a day if you'd like, but I find that once a day is enough for me. I really love it in the evenings because that's when I'm actually going to be removing the most products from my skin. I have found that it works best with a nice creamy cleanser. So I've been using my everyday cleanser, which is my Purity Made Simple. That works very well with this brush. I do wet my face first and then I pump a little bit of the cleanser right onto the brush and then I just move it around my face. This does have six speeds, like I mentioned before, three facial cleansing cycles. I've been using the lowest speed, and so you just press the button. It's going to go for one minute, so you just press it up against your skin. I'm gonna do that now and show you the 20 second cycle because it does actually give you an indication at 20 seconds that it's time to move to another area. So what I've been doing, go ahead and start this. So I put this up against my skin. I move it around in one area for 20 seconds. I've actually divided my face into three sections. So I go around the side of my nose, the side of my face, and my chin. That is my first area. And at 20 seconds, it's gonna give me an indication that it's time to move to a new area. There's the beep. So next I go to this third of my face. I go around here, and it's going to give me another indication beep at 20 seconds. So I finally finish up by going through my forehead, down the top of my nose, and then I will also move down to my neck area. So you just let it go and it will turn off automatically at one minute. So that's the third section that I would normally go through. And that's it, so it's really simple. There's nothing that you have to remember so you know you're getting your full one minute cleansing cycle by the beeps that are indicated. Now, as far as the body brush goes, I also recommend using a nice creamy cleanser with this as well. I did initially try using it with my Aveeno cleanser, and I felt that that was too gel-like, and it wasn't really allowing the brush to move smoothly over my skin. I also do want to show you how easy it is to change these out. So this is the facial brush. You're just going to take this, press down slightly, and twist counterclockwise and it comes right off, it couldn't be simpler. And then you take your body brush the same way, you're just going to press down and then turn in the opposite direction. So that's it, there it is. You can remove your safety cap and you're ready to go. So I do the same process, I just wet my skin with water, I pump a little bit of my favorite cleanser onto the brush. Right now I'm using the Philosophy, this was a nice foaming gel cleanser. And then you can just move this around. I use it on my back and my shoulders, down my arms. I like to concentrate on my elbows and knees, anywhere that needs a little bit of extra cleansing or exfoliation. When I talk to you about the facial brush and the indication that you're gonna get 
get every 20 seconds during that cycle. That is a one minute cycle. And with the body brush, you're gonna get a three minute cycle with an indication beep every 60 seconds. And again, because the brush handle does recognize which brush you're using, you don't have to worry about changing anything. You pop on your body brush and just go ahead and hit the start button like you did with the facial cleansing brush. You can just move it around and you will get that beep at 60 seconds, letting you know that you can go ahead and move to another area. Now that I've gone over all of the basics with you, my first impressions and how I like to use the brush, let's talk about the pros and cons. Right away, the first thing that stands out is obviously going to be the price. If you are purchasing a comparable full-size Clarisonic, you're going to pay $180 for that initial kit and then $27 for each replacement brush head. With the Sonoclear, you are paying $149 for the initial kit and then $25 for each additional replacement brush head. So there is a significant difference between your initial cost and your ongoing cost. Michael Todd True Organics has generously offered me a 20% discount code to offer to my viewers. I was really grateful for that because while the Sonoclear brush system is less expensive than the comparable Clarisonic, it's still a significant investment. So I love that I'm able to offer you a 20% discount, but I do want to be clear that this is an affiliate link. I have a note about affiliate links down in my information box. It's always been there. So I do want you to look that over. But if this is something that you're interested in, you can get a 20% discount by using my link. The next pro for me is definitely the battery life. I charge the device according to the instructions for 24 hours before the initial use, and I have not had to charge it since. I've been using this every night without fail for almost the past three weeks now, and I have not had to charge it yet. I love that I can use this so many times and not have to worry about the battery conking out when I'm in the middle of a cleanse. So Sonoclear says that you can expect to get about 25 to 35 cleanses from this before you'll need to charge it again. So that is depending on whether you're using facial cleansing or body cleansing cycles. So it's whether it's one minute or three minutes, it might make a difference. But I really have been impressed with how long that initial charge has lasted. The next and for me the most significant pro of the Sonoclear is the improvement that I've seen in my skin. I've definitely noticed that my skin has gotten much softer and much smoother and a little bit more luminous. I attribute that to the Sonoclear really cleaning out my pores and allowing my skin care to do its job. I've been using Retin-A for quite a while now and I do feel like I had reached a little bit of a plateau even, that I'm, even though I'm using the highest strength available. I was having a lot more dry patches on my skin. I'm using the same moisturizers that I have before but it seems like they're working a little bit better and I have to attribute that to the cleanse that I'm getting with the Sonoclear. This is removing six times the amount of dirt and makeup than I would get with my hands alone. So just by that fact alone, it's allowing my skincare to really do its job. Now that I've gone over all of the pros with you, I am going to talk about the cons. With the Sonoclear, there is one and only one that has come to mind for me. And that is that the brush heads are not available in multiple strengths. And what I mean by that is the brush head that it comes with is the only one that is available. So this is suitable for all skin types. So you're not going to have the choice of a very delicate brush or a very exfoliating brush. You're just going to have the one brush head replacement. So for some people that might be a con and something that I thought was worth mentioning, because it is to me, in my opinion, a more sensitive brush head, I do think it is pretty suitable for everyone. So even if your skin is not sensitive, you're not going to have to worry about irritation. But if your skin is sensitive, know that this is, in my opinion, still a sensitive of brush head, so you're going to be okay too. That is just something that I did want to bring to your attention. So just to sort of summarize everything here for you, in a comparison in my experience between the Clarisonic Mia and the Sonoclear, the Sonoclear definitely has the advantage. Not only do you have a lower initial cost, but also your ongoing cost of use is lower. I also love that you are getting the antimicrobial protection in the brush heads, which is important to me now more than ever. The only area where I can see that the Clarisonic Sonic has a bit of an advantage is that it's available in a wider variety of colors. But since that has no impact on how the device functions, and it certainly doesn't make it any more cost effective, the clear winner for me is the Sonoclear Antimicrobial Sonic Cleansing System. So I hope that you found this review helpful. I thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.